Hello everyone. We are continuing from part one of this presentation. That is how to solve a 1D transient convection problem using finite difference methods. In part one, we solve the same problem using analytical method and some of the finite difference methods. In this part, we're going to solve the same problem using different finite difference methods. Our objectives are to present a simple 1D transient convection problem. We'll solve the problem using finite difference methods. The methods that we will be using are the first and second order upwind methods. Our 1D convection problem is shown in the figure. We have a constant area tube that is filled with a stationary incompressible fluid that has a very low thermal conductivity so we can neglect the heat diffusion. The fluid is heated to an initial temperature distribution T at x, comma 0, which is shown approximately in the figure up there, at which time the heat source is turned off and the fluid is instantaneously given the velocity u equals 0 0.1 centimeter per second to the right. Our focus is to find the temperature distribution within the tube with time. So the 1D convection equation is given as Ft plus u times Fx equals 0. F is a function of x and t and u is the convection velocity. F is a dependent variable and can represent temperature, concentration, etc. Here we have a propagation problem governed by a hyperbolic PDE. So we need to choose appropriate finite difference methods to solve such a problem. If we represent F in terms of T, we have T T plus U times T X equals zero as shown in equation two, which can be represented as dou T over dou T plus U times dou T over dou X equals zero. Here T represents the temperature and is a function of x and the lowercase t which represents time. The initial conditions are given as t at x comma 0 equals 200 times x for x varying from 0 to 0 0.5. t at x comma 0 equals 200 times 1 minus x for x varying from 0 0.5 to 1. And t at x comma 0 equals 0 above the range, outside of this range. So the first order upwind method is the first finite difference method we are going to look at. The 1D convection equation is reproduced here as TT plus UT x equals 0. When we use first order forward difference approximation for the time derivative and first order one-sided approximation for the space derivative we get T i n plus 1 minus T i n over delta T plus u times T i n minus T i minus 1 n over delta x equals 0. Rearranging this equation, we get T i n plus 1 equals T i n minus u times delta T over delta x times T i n minus T i minus 1 n. If we let C equals U times delta T over delta X, where C is the current or the convection number, we have T A N plus 1 equals T A I N minus C times T I N minus T I minus 1 N. Equation 6 shows the finite difference approximation of the 1D convection equation using first order upwind method. The first order upwind method is an explicit single step method and is conditionally stable. But this method introduces significant amount of numerical damping into the solution and is generally not recommended to solve convection equation. The stability criteria C equals U times delta T over delta X should be lesser than or equal to 1. The error is of the order of delta T plus of the order of delta X. As indicated before, the first order upwind method is not a very accurate method to solve convection problems. Second order upwind methods can provide more accurate solutions. So we can solve the same equation using second order upwind method. 
the 1D convection e equation is reproduced here as TT plus U times TX equals 0. So the second order operating method is given as TIN plus 1 equals TIN minus C times TIN minus TI minus 1N minus C times 1 minus C over 2 times TIN minus 2 times TI minus 1N plus TI minus 2N. So equation 7 is this final difference approximation of the 1D convection equation using second order upwind method. The second order upwind method is an explicit single step method and is conditionally stable. Stability criteria is given as C equals U times delta T over delta X, which should be lesser than 2. The error is of the order of delta T square plus of the order of delta X square. This is easier to implement for convection problems to solve nonlinear PDEs, system of PDEs, and multidimensional problems. Here, we have to note that upwind methods account for the direction of physical information propagation and hence match the physics of hyperbolic PDEs better than the centered space methods. We will go back and look at the codes. So the convection equation, the, the first order up, upwind method, the code is given here. The parameters here are convection velocity u equals 0 0.1 centimeter per second. The initial distance for the temperature profile L equals 1 centimeter. And the number of spatial segments m1 equals 10. So that delta x equals L over m1 which is equal to 0 0.1 in this case. And the total time is given as 100 seconds and the number of time steps as 100. So we get the time step delta t equals nt over n equals 1. One second rather. So the current number nu equals u times delta t over delta x. Let's run this code and look at the results. Here the current number n equals nu equals 1. So the finite difference solution and the exact solution match. On the top left hand side we have the initial temperature profile. At the bottom left hand side we have the final temperature profile and at the right hand side we have the temperature profile variation with time. We can now change the number of time steps n to 110. So our current number is not equal to 1 but less than 1 which is 0 0.9 in this case and let's look at the results so in this case the temperature profile we are seeing does not match the analytical or the exact results so in a pure convection problem the temperature profile initial temperature profile has to shift towards the right. But here we see the drop in temperature as well. So there is a lot of uh, numerical diffusion in this problem. So this is not a recommended uh, uh, finite difference approximation to solve up in uh, to solve um, a 1D convection problems or other convection pro other dimensional uh, convection problems. We will now solve the same equation using second order upwind method. The parameters are the same. We will run this code and for um, current number. NU of 1, 
we get the same results as before. So the final difference results match the exact or analytical results when the current number is 1. The current number should not be greater than 1 or greater than 2 in this particular case as this will cause stability issues. We will change our current number to 0 0.9 by changing the number of time steps from 100 to 110 and rerun this case. In this case, the final difference solution does not match the analytical solution as we have uh, numerical diffusion being introduced into the solution. But the amount of numerical diffusion is not significantly greater like we had in the case of a first order upwind method. So this is an acceptable method to solve uh, 1D or multidimensional um, convection equation. We will now summarize what you have done so far. In this video, we presented a 1D convection problem. We discretized the domain and solved the problem using the first order and second order upwind final difference methods. We varied the grid spacings and time steps and we varied the current number and presented the results using MATLAB. In future videos we can explore more challenging problems. If you have any questions please post it. Thanks for watching the video.